Hi, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a huge Primark haul. I honestly can't remember the last time I did a Primark haul on my channel. It's not somewhere I shop a lot. But obviously the last year I haven't been able to go as much as I'd like to anyway. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I did a haul from Primark or even bought like a lot. And I got a lot. Wow. I don't know if it's just because I haven't gone in a long time. But there was just so many good things that I couldn't pass up on. And by the end of it, I had a lot of bags. Yeah, I'm just really excited to show you all. So yeah, if you'd like to see this Primark haul, then please carry on watching. Another thing to note, because I feel like this is the first video I'm filming with my hair, but I also got my hair done. So I just say that because I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> it looks quite different, mainly because I got like bangs. That's the main difference. And then it was just putting the blonde back in the roots. So it's like all the way through rather than stopping like here, which it was. Kept it quite long this time as I'm feeling like long spring summer hair and I'm really, really loving it. I've been using the, um, not using, <laughs> I've been taking the hair burst vitamins every day and honestly, I've seen so much difference to my hair. I can't even tell you. Sorry. So to the Primark haul. I think I'm first gonna start off with what I got, like clothing accessory wise. This is the first bag. And then I'll go on to home stuff because I'm not gonna lie to you. This is mainly a home haul. I just could have, bought so much more from the home section. I can't tell you. Okay, so first thing I got, which I already knew that I was planning on getting before I went, as I saw so many other people buying them, were these cute little like seamless stretch underwear sets, which are so like Zara-esque to me. It's kind of like that Zara contour collection. And these were five pounds, which I was like, Wow, I think I've just forgotten what Primark was like, you know? And um, I got these in an extra small, which I'm hoping is fine. I haven't actually tried any of this stuff on yet because it's not a lot. And I, I was hoping there'd be a white set. I don't know if that was maybe sold out, but I got like the peachy nude, the yellow, which I just thought would be so cute for summer. And then I also got the more like brownie set as well. I'm absolutely obsessed with these and I can't wait to try these on. I absolutely love them. I next up got a pair of shoes. I don't often get shoes from Primark because I'm not gonna lie, I don't find them the comfiest. However, because these were a pair of flats and honestly, they are just like an ornament. <laughs> Look how cute. They literally match one of my handbags and I can't wait to wear them together. They're like a squishy duvet material and the color, I just can't wait. I'm hoping because they're flats, they won't be too uncomfortable. It's usually their trainers and heels I find quite uncomfortable. So I'm hoping these will be fine, but I think they are so, so, so cute. I also managed to get one of their, the TikTok gym sets that everyone's been talking about. I really wanted the yellow one, but um, I think they had the top, but they didn't have the shorts and I kind of wanted a set or nothing, do you know what I mean? So luckily they had the blue one, which is probably would be my next option. So I got the shorts, which were £3.50 and an extra small, which to be fair, I probably would have bought these in an extra small anyway. And then I got the top, which was also £3.50 in a 2XS. So I guess we'll find out. I would usually get the top in an excess, but they didn't have it. So I thought, oh, I'll just get the size down and maybe without a bra, it'll be fine. Yeah, I do love the color of this though. I think it could be super cute. Don't really know what I'd wear it for, but we'll, we'll see. I then got this little hairbrush for 90p, just like a little mini one, because when I went to get my hair done, my hairdresser was saying like, get yourself a cute little brush and it'll be good for your bangs. <laughs> there we go. It does work. So I thought this could be a cute little brush to maybe take with me. It could probably fit in my handbag. It's just quite a nice little black simple brush. I then have also been really into my hair rollers recently. So I actually got my big ones from Amazon. I regret that now because they're so much cheaper in Primark. I spent like seven pounds on Amazon. However, they're the big ones. So I saw these little ones and I thought, that'll be good for my bangs, that's why I bought them. They were only a pound, and yeah, I just thought I've really been loving those rollers. I don't wear them like every day, you definitely need some time, like you can't be in a rush and use them, but I have been loving them, so now I have the smaller ones. I then also got some socks, of course. I didn't get any white trainer socks because I honestly have so many, I didn't need any more. However, I was lacking black trainer socks, so I got those, which were two pounds. And then I also got a set of white crew socks for one pound 80, because I honestly, all my sock collection is, is white and black trainer socks. And I do have some shoes that rub around the ankles. I don't know, just in general, sometimes I don't want my ankle showing, so I thought I'd get some longer socks. And so yeah, I got those. Oh my God, 
I was really craving a milkshake, so I got me a milkshake. Right, so now I'm gonna move on to the home section. I know I really didn't get any clothes, but if I'm gonna be honest, the couple of bits that I did like the look of weren't in my size, so we didn't really have much luck there, but I've bought enough clothes the last couple of months, so I was mainly after home stuff. First off, we have this <laughs> little timer thing um what do you call it sand timer i guess <laughs> this was six pounds and they did it in black as well and to be fair in the living room i do have like a black theme i really like the look of this one and to be fair i might put it more like in the bedroom and i did just think it was really really cute a lot of this stuff that i picked up i could honestly picture in zara home for like two or three times the price this being one of them i swear i've seen something exactly like this on Zara for like a lot more so I was really impressed with this then got this cute little gold heart candle which was £1.50 probably not planning on lighting this because it's just too cute I only got one fake plant I wanted a lot more in fact there was like this really big one in a wicker basket for like 20 quid and I was like maybe next time but I got this one because I don't have any spiky plants at the moment. I just have a monstera one, I think, in the office. This was six pounds, which I thought was really cute. I just love this plant part more than anything. And I just thought somewhere in the living room this will look quite nice. I really, really like this one. One of the first things I picked up, which I was so like, I, when I say that I saw it and I was like, mine. <laughs> look at this. Like how expensive are these? Obviously when you get the real ones, they're freaking expensive, aren't they? I just feel like also when people like make them, like recreate them on like Etsy and stuff, they're still really expensive. And just look how pretty. I, feel, I honestly feel like I should have gotten more. I don't know why. Um, this was six pounds. And I just feel like in, I'm thinking bedroom, this will just look really, really pretty on like the side table. I just love it. Beautiful. Next up, we've got a couple of vases. I could not believe that this was four pounds. I checked the price and I was like, what? This is beaut. Um, half of me kind of thinks pampas, but it is quite short. Either really tiny pampas or something else. It kind of works by itself as well. It's kind of like a nice standalone piece, but I just could not abandon this. Like, it's just beautiful. I love it so, so much. I then got another vase. Oh, geez, you know what? I'm like collecting a lot of vases and plant pots that I'm not filling and it's not very good of me. But I really like this and I feel like I need to get something to put in it, like some sort of like dry plant that can sustain it always. Because I feel like it's that kind of vase. I just think this is so nice. I love the texture of it. How much was this one? This one was five pounds. I just love the shape of it. Most of the vases I have are quite long and tall. So I thought this one was quite nice. Ooh, oh, I'm really excited to put these out. <laughs> I forgot I got these. These were 10 pounds and it's a set of two glass trays. Can you see it there? Yeah, it's glass and gold with like gold accents. But I just thought this would be so nice to put like my perfumes and my hair stuff like on my dresser. Um, so I'm actually really excited to use these. I thought they were a bargain as I look for things like this all the time but usually like for one you have to pay like 20 quid so I thought that was really good the next thing I got was this little cute crystal candle holder which I actually saw in oh, I can't remember whose haul it was I saw it in someone else's haul you can basically put a long candlestick here or you can turn it around and put a tea light in here I think that's so adorable it was one pound so i really really like that it's really really pretty i then got a couple of kitchen bits because you know once you live on your own you suddenly want to buy kitchen bits all the time so the first thing i got was this two-piece oil pourer Will i tell you that i literally when i see these kind of things on like zara home h&m home you're looking at paying about 20 30 quid these were six pounds look how gorgeous they are like all glass the black top i just think they're gorgeous and yeah i just think they're swell <laughs> honestly i mean i might have to stop buying home stuff from anywhere else i then also got this little like serving board i'm gonna call it i mean i guess you i don't know if it's meant to be a chopping board i wouldn't use it as a chopping board i'd use it as like a serving platter so like the other day i cut up pita bread and I served the pita bread on it. I don't know if I'd want to cut into this. This was £5.50 I believe. I did rip off the price but I'm pretty sure. I did really like this. It is quite small though. And last but not least, 
I got this green tea and bergamot candle. This was not too sure. I have a feeling it was six pounds. Like I have an inner feeling. And it's like this ridged stoneware like texture. Um, I really like that it's like a stone bowl. It's quite heavy. And I just thought this would be really nice in the living room. I don't actually even know if I like the smell of it. Ooh, that actually smells really, really nice. I like that. But um, there we go, that's that. After going to Primark, I did actually buy um, like one or two things from somewhere else that was a Primark. But um, do you want to see that? Do you? I'll show you. <laughs> you can click off if you don't want to. We, in Leamington, we have this like furniture home shop. I you don't really know what it's called. I'm really sorry. But I mean, I think it has a tag on it. So I'll be able to tell you that. And they had this whole kitchen collection, which I couldn't get because I mean, I already have most of my kitchen stuff. I can't like now buy new stuff. However, they had a jug for it. So it says Paris Homeware by Besp Oak. I don't know if that's a brand. Besp Oak, there we go. If you like this, you can try and search that up. But it is this little jug. And there was the matching utensil jar, like coffee sugar jars, mugs. But I just, I don't need any of that stuff. Like I've already got it. So it is really sad because I honestly would happily have the whole collection. However, I decided to keep the jug. This was 11 pounds and I just think she's really, really pretty. And I just couldn't leave her basically. I had to at least have one thing from the collection. I then also went into Tiger and actually one of the things I got isn't here. I got like the gray egg timer, which is just so boring. It's in the kitchen now, just because I wanted a timer. I think that was about two or three pounds. And then I also got this little cute plant pot. It looks more like an egg cup because it's so tiny. I don't know what plant would fit in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. This was about two pounds, I wanna say. And they did like a big version as well, but I thought maybe that's just too overkill. She's really cute. I feel like she'll just be an ornament by herself you know i don't think she really needs anything in her but if she does imagine like a hanging ivy plant it will look like she has hair i might have to do that <laughs> and then last but not least of my shopping escapades does that make sense <laughs> is that the right way yeah we went into this i think it's the cotswold trading shop it's something like that and i saw these we needed egg cups because at the moment i think we have two which basically means if me and Jack want to have both have two eggs, or, or if one of us wants two eggs, we have to have the egg just rolling on the plate, or we have to use a shot glass. <laughs> I just thought these were so cute. They were $7.99. I could not believe, because everything else in the shop is freaking expensive, so I couldn't believe that these were so cheap. They also had like a little black, like, rattan egg basket, which I kind of wanted. Um, and they also had these in pastel. And I kind of wanted those too. These ones definitely took my heart. Like, they look like little buckets say egg can't these are just so so cute right so that is the end of my huge primark haul and a few little home bits i probably need to go back asap because there were so many plants and home bits i didn't pick up because i didn't want to spend a million pounds but their home section is so good right now it is so good there are so many pieces you can pick up that are just unbelievably cheap and and the quality is unreal you'd honestly expect some of the kind of stuff to be in zara home or h&m home yeah please let me know if you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>